Hello and welcome back to my Ultima 4 series. Uh, I have had a bit of an audio problem and so I've had to re-record the audio. So we're going to be missing all those lovely 1980s beeps and boops and whatever. But I assure you they will be back soon. So let's take a look at our map. And we are still up here in the northwestern quadrant of the map at Empath Abbey. We spent a bit of time exploring that. We're going to uh, finish exploring that today. And then my hope is we can strike a bit west. There is a moon gate and a, a town off to the east. I think I said west. Off to the east. And um, I want to go visit them. I'm hoping that town is going to be the, the uh, town of you that was foretold to us as being in the deep forest. But for now, we have the left side of Empath Abbey to uh, explore. We did the right side last episode. So now we're going to check out the left side. So we are going to say goodbye to our dear friend Chin up there, the greeter, the little child greeter, which I think he was a stately child. So see you later, Chin up. And let's see what's down here. Okay, so we've got a cul-de-sac with a guard. Let's chat with the guard briefly. Uh, I meet a guard. Uh, do you have a name? Please tell me your name, dear lady. I'm assuming it's lady. Yes, it is. Okay, I'll pass guard again. So I'm expecting the same dialogue. Yeah, there is no danger. Yeah, okay, so same dialogue we saw last time. But what's this interesting looking room here with a tile floor and this strange thing? Can we talk to it? We can. It's an ankh. It says, I am life. Okay, so what can you tell me about life? Nothing. All right, that seems kind of strange. That seems really kind of strange. So I don't know if this is a shrine. We're supposed to meditate at a shrine or pray, but no, it knows nothing about meditate. Hmm. What can you tell me about yourself? Nothing. Okay, I'm confused about what you're supposed to be doing. But how about love? Oh, here we go. Love. Seek ye the candle of love, for only with it and two other parts might thou enter the abyss. So that's part of the end game. So that's an important important piece of information there uh so we need the candle of love plus two other parts so we'll have to find out what those other parts are i'm kind of wondering since there's three parts if there's um if the other parts are at the you know so maybe we need to go back to the lyceum uh and whatever the third one has so do i have it it asks no i do not ask the bard beyond the secret passage okay i'll have to try to remember that um so bard nope you can't tell me anything more about the bard. All right. Very good. Let's let's talk to our, our person down here that seems to be praying, maybe. His name is Humlock, a mumbling beggar. Okay, Humlock, what do you do here? You seek salvation. And what can you tell me about that? I am not, nothing but a poor, destitute beggar. I have nothing. Will you give me some money? And I'll say, sure, I'm trying to be compassionate and honorable and all, the, all those things. And he says, yeah, I would be so grateful. All right, let's give him some money. How about 10 gold? Thank thee, I shall never forget thy kindness. It's funny how they do all the these and thou sometimes, and then sometimes they don't. Well, what about my kindness? Uh, I do nothing. So he's already forgotten my kindness. It's been like two seconds, sir. I just gave you 10 gold, and you remember nothing. Ah. All right, we got some, what are these, shrubberies? I'm just going to kind of paw on the shrubberies, maybe like potted plants. I don't know. It seems a little weird, but what do I know about interior decorating? And just see if there's anything here. We got some water uh, that I can't cross. And we have another guard. So another pass guard, looks like. Yep, yep, same thing. Uh, they must have fired the Amazons for this. Uh, and what's what, what is this guy? Another guard or gal oh no this is a guy he's a gate guard okay so we do have some male guards here so he's a gate guard um so he's guarding the gate to the abbey even though he's kind of like in a throne room here in the oak grove many find the peace of meaning and love art thou saturated with love no not really visit the small shrine within the abbey okay so there's a shrine i don't know if that's in the if that's the Ankh room, it didn't really seem like a shrine. It wasn't very interested in in, um, in, uh, in that. Okay, so let's talk to this gate guard. Same, same dialogue, I'm guessing. You're a gate guard. We get that to the Abbey. Yeah, this is looking very similar. Yep. Okay, 
so we'll move on here. They're giving us the same bits of information. We have two people, but first, let's look at this door. We have a door going outside. I wonder if this is the grove that we were foretold, but the problem is it's locked. You can see that little red dot on the doorknob there. That means it's locked. We can't get in there. So uh, that's a bit of a problem. So let's talk to the Lord, the Lords here or the ladies. I'm looking around. Oh, we do have a we do have a secret door here that we'll have to uh, definitely have to go through. We were told to go through the secret door to find the bard. Uh, but first, let's talk to R and find out um, find out what's up with him. He is a stately baron. OK, what is your name? Good, sir. I am Lord Robert, he says. What is it you do here? I rule this province. Okay. But he can't tell me about rule. Um, so, all right. What about your province? My Lady Marcy can tell thee more. So you're just kind of like the eye candy. And she's the real power on the throne. I get it. I get it. Uh, can you tell me anything about your wife? Nope. I cannot tell you anything. You know, I guess that makes sense. I'm a stranger. All right, so let's talk to this person who I'm assuming is Marcy, a charming lady. Very nice. She rules with her lord. Can't tell us anything about um, about the lord, but she rules this province. And if I ask her about the province, then she says, Our people believe in love as a way of life and live it to the fullest. Dost thou seek love? Yes, I do. Then thou may find it. Oh, okay. Let's ask her about the grove. Um, or maybe the gove. I don't know what a gove is. So maybe we should try the grove. And she doesn't know anything about the grove. The grove's in your castle or near your castle. And you know nothing about the grove? I find that hard to believe. Okay, so I'm going to paw through the shrubberies again. Don't mind me. I'm just... I'm just looking for things, but I'm not finding anything. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't seem to have any access to a key. So let's go through the hidden door. And we've got a little cul-de-sac with a guard here, but there's nothing else to speak of here. So uh, let's just kind of take a quick look around. Uh, maybe talk to the guard. Is this like another pass guard or something else? Let's see if we can find out. Uh, oh, yeah, another pass guard. Okay, well, I don't need to talk to them again. We do have a hidden door down here, and that leads to a treasure room. Oh, and look, we've actually got two hidden doors next to each other. Interesting, and that goes outside. We'll, we'll, we'll check that out in a minute. But first, look, we have a treasure room here. Now, I am trying to be virtuous and, and all of that, so while I could potentially steal the gold um i'm not going to we'll, we'll leave we'll leave their gold right here you know in the land of love and uh we'll leave it be and uh and we'll thereby not damage our our virtue and our honor um by <clears throat> common thievery but let's uh, go through this other door and go outside here and see what there is to see we've got some shrubberies here um, but yeah, there's nothing in the shrubberies. Nobody hides anything in the shrubberies anymore, which is kind of, kind of sad. So let's go down and see what's down here. Oh, we got a guy playing an instrument. It looks like, uh, let's talk to this guy, a young bard playing a lute. Oh, this is the bard. Uh, he's Derek. Interesting. Okay. So what is your job? I sing songs. All right. What is it you sing? Well, what about your songs? Tell me about your songs. Of course you sing songs. Oh, all types. You know, he does rock and roll and country. Dost thou like this one? Yes. Thanks. I just wrote it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, we were supposed to ask this guy something. I don't remember what it was. It was about love. No, it wasn't that. What was it we were supposed to ask him? I'm drawing a blank. I'm drawing a blank. I probably should have written it down, but I did not. So what is, you know, they got all of these pieces here and unlike modern games where you could like, you know, check your quest log and, and see the, you know, go talk to the bard about the us and tho and, you know, we don't have that with this. You, it makes you uh, do, do type. So let's ask, let's do the district talk. Let's do the talk, the song again. 
I say, I don't like it. He goes, alas, it was new. Okay, that's pretty funny. So, yeah, we've got, that's all he really has. It doesn't have anything to say about singing itself. Okay. All right, so, so I think we're done talking to him. There's nothing else down here that we can get to. There's nothing else up here. There's no other secret doors. Now, if I go one more, I will. I think I will exit the um, exit the uh, Empath Abbey. So, but I think I'll try it. So let's go one more. Yep, I'm outside. So let's go back in, and um, let's continue our search here. I mean, I think we've seen everything at this point, but I just want to double check. I mean, there is a, a, a spell. I don't think I, I don't have mixed right now. I don't even sure if I had the right reagents uh, to, um, or I can cast an open spell and unlock it. I don't know what kind of, if that will cause any problems with the, with the guards, but I want to look around for any other hidden rooms besides that one. Uh, I'm not seeing anything. There's none other ones here besides the ones we've already found. Um, yeah. Yeah, there's nothing else here. There's nothing else here but the bard. And there's nothing else here in this little hidden cul-de-sac. This is probably really just a guard station so that uh, to protect the gold, I'm guessing. And uh, yeah, yeah, I can't go that way. I can't go that way. And I'm not seeing anything. I don't know if I'm really supposed to be like searching every block of this floor. I'm not sure. Let's go back here into the Ankh room and maybe see if the Ankh can tell us anything. Um, yeah, we did pray, but he still doesn't know anything about that. And meditate. So this is this can't be the shrine. Okay. And these appear to just be like force fields. They're just blocking the way. There's nothing in there that I can get to. There's no hidden rooms visible. So let's continue our search. There's, here's another cul-de-sac. No hidden rooms. I'm going to take a peek over on the right side. And uh, uh, first I'm going to go out. Yeah, I'll check here. I'm just kind of scanning all the walls at this point. I'm scanning all the walls looking for any hidden passages. I'm not seeing any uh, up till now. Let's take a peek at the uh, lady in waiting's chamber here. Um, I think I need to get her to move away from the door though. Could you please, please move my lady, please move. Okay. There finally catch these people. Nope. There's nothing in there. There's nothing hidden there. So, um, nothing hidden in this cul-de-sac and, and I don't expect there to be anything hidden in the healers area, but we'll check and nope, nothing there. So I'm at a bit of a loss as far as where I'm supposed to find this key to get to the grove and maybe what I do is, is I, I, I go back and study and find out how to, um, how to do the open spell and unlock it that way. But I'm not seeing anything beyond what I've already found. Let's just check with Marcy one last time and see if she can tell us anything about the key and she cannot. All right. And I doubt that Robert can, because he just seems to be the, um, yeah, he's the eye candy, I think. Uh, he's just there to look good on, on Marcy's arm, I believe. That's 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 the narrative I am going with. All right, we'll take a peek here on the edges and nothing there. And we'll let's go down here right at the very end of the end of the drawbridge. And yeah, there's nothing really here. I'm searching the shrubberies again, but there's there's nothing. There's nothing. That's rock. We can't walk on the rock. Okay. And it's about the same thing over here. I'll go ahead and search the shrubberies just in case. But nobody hides things in shrubberies anymore, which is kind of sad. Kind of sad. Okay. So I think we're ready to move on. So let's just bring up the map again and take a peek at where we're going to go. So uh, we are going to head uh, easterly. We actually have to head a little bit northeasterly. Uh, so that we can try to find that moon gate first. I think that'll be our first destination. And then from there, we can head over to that town that I'm thinking and hoping is going to be you. And, uh, and we'll uh, see what that has for us. And we might have to do some moon gate hopping and try to get back to moon glow soon to get some more reagents if you doesn't sell any. But let's uh, start heading in that general direction. We will leave the Abbey and we will 
head east and search for these things. All right, so we're in the dark forest. I'm predominantly heading east. Um, we do need to do some north. Okay, so we have an orc to deal with. I'm not I'm not going to bother throwing a dagger at, at this kind of orc. He's not lined up right now anyway. Um, I, I almost feel like I should get myself a sling so that uh, for enemies like this, I, I have another ranged attack uh, that's not going to, that has unlimited ammunition. So I'm just going to stand to the side here. And then when Iolo gets him down, uh, I can just kind of stab the orc in the side. But Iolo is doing pretty good with this thing. He's got him heavily wounded, which is nice after a couple of misses. Uh, but once he gets down here, I can, I can, oh, okay. Iolo killed him. So, so the victor gold, the spoils, and we got 18 gold, which is okay. All right. So I'm going to continue heading east. Um, if I'm remembering the image on the map, it's, it's also a bit north of the Abbey. So I need to, I need to head a bit north as well. Um, not just east. So let's head north a bit and kind of do north and east and, and see what that gets us. And oh, okay, we're at water. I don't remember there being a water between us and them. So I'm guessing we've probably gone too far. The scale, it, the map seems like a bigger scale than, oh, here we are. Here we are. So yeah, the map is a bigger scale than what it seems to be in the world. And so I'm always over overshooting. So let's, uh, let's go check out this town and find out um, if it is, if it is you or if it's not. Um, we have some orcs. Oh, they, they want to fight. And oh, we got one of these guys with the hammer and the um, and the helmet. And what's bad about them is they have um, they have a ranged attack, a magic attack that can go diagonally. Uh, so I'm probably going to need to have to go up there and take care of him. I'm going to try my new spell on him. I mixed uh, some magic missiles, which was supposed to do some sort of internal damage. Um so I'm kind of waiting for him to get down here, uh, but he keeps hitting Iolo. So I don't know that I can wait a whole lot longer. So I got to go up and, and take this guy out. But now we got the foot soldiers in our way. So we got to deal with them. So how about you? <laughs> uh, okay, so that one's fleeing. I, Iolo is already fleeing. So let me get up here. It, it's I can't cast stuff. So let's cast a magic missile in his face. And uh, so we get the magic happen here. And... Um, so we, you know, like I said, it's internal damage. We don't know what happened. Uh, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna dagger him at this point, um, and I'm missing. So Iolo is kind of harassing the guys that are leaving. I got hit. Um, so one orc has fled the field, and I killed him with my dagger. Excellent. And now we just need to chase this one last guy that's fleeing off of the field of battle. And uh, we get uh, we get some gold. How much do we get, Iolo? Come on, Iolo. Quit, quit equivocating. Open it up. Fifty three gold. Actually, oh my gosh, I just want to I just want to get into town. So now I got these rogues to deal with. All right, these guys. I'm just I just want to get past these guys. I want to get into town. I don't want to deal with deal with these morons so let's just kill them as fast as possible i'm gonna i'm gonna use up a few daggers here uh although my daggers are I, my guy's barely wounded uh so i'm just i'm just nicking him uh iolo's guys he keeps missing oh now he's got him heavily wounded that's very nice so now my guy's lightly wounded so the sling is right now is doing better than the than the uh than the dagger so um i missed him great Iola's hitting him, but he's still heavily wounded. Um, oh, boy, I just am missing. I don't know how I'm missing this guy. So Iolo's done his bit and got rid of his guy. Uh, and I keep missing on mine. I must be, like, stabbing at him with my eyes closed or something. Uh, okay, so now he's fleeing. Now he's fleeing. Get him, Iolo. Yeah, there we go. We don't want you to flee. You're, you're a pain. So let's open it up. Oh, poison trap. Oh, that's bad. I don't have a cure spell on me right now. But we got 35 gold. Yes, this is you, as I thought. Okay, we're going to explore this town thoroughly, but we've got Iolo with poison, and his life is going to continue to dribble away if we don't uh, take care of that pretty quick. So he's got a lot of health, but it's going down, you know, I think three points or two points every time. So we need to find a healer. That's dry goods. That's interesting. I wonder if I've not seen that shot before. I wonder if they've got torches. 
What's this one? Aha, healing. Here we go. So we can heal him. That'll be important. Uh, we are in need of help. Thank you, Justin. Uh, we need curing. And uh, Iolo needs it. Uh, and that's 100 gold pieces, which is a little steep, but we don't really have a choice. So yes, we will pay it. He is healed. And so now the poison is taken care of. He's down almost a third of his health. So how much is healing going to cost? For Iolo, I mean, I'm okay. I'm only down 17 points. 200 gold pieces. I've only got 300. That's kind of steep. We can hole up in camp. Um, so I don't think we'll do that. But let's take a peek at our stats and see where we're at. So I'm level two. You'll see I've got 248 experience. I'm assuming when that gets to 300, like Iolo's is here, then I'll be level three. He's 352. Uh, I've got 40 daggers. So I've only used... 10 daggers, actually probably nine because I've got one equipped. So I've got 41. So yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. So we're doing, we're doing pretty good there. Okay. So now that we've taken care of our pressing health issues, let us uh, go back to the beginning of the town here and let's explore it uh, a little more carefully. Talk to some of the people, explore the various explore the various shops and first we have have the person that's standing here in the welcome position let's talk with them this is whoop <laughs> what a name dude buy a vowel what do you do here um i welcome thee to the you the city of justice which we knew from we knew from uh lord breton is there like a welcome bag no no welcome bag but love no one more than the truth, for justice seeks no favors. Temper thy justice with understanding. Okay, interesting. Love no one more than the truth. Hmm. Uh, understanding. I can't even do understanding. It's too long. Okay. All right. Well, thank you, Dwip, for, uh, for that. Uh, you can't tell us anything about love. All right. Uh, we already know about justice. So let's see what the dry goods guy has got to sell here. Um because presumably he's daughter may introduce you some race rations 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 okay he's got rations well let's see what he's got adventure rations 25 for only 35 gold pieces how many packs of 25 would you like well you know we got 121 food we're actually doing pretty good right now uh so i i don't think we'll get any, any right now uh, i don't want to spend up all my gold here on this um necessarily let's see what else we have here we have healing. We saw that. We saw the healing place. I'm just going to look at all the buildings first, and then we'll start talking to people. And here we have, I guess, the Hall of Justice. And I'm guessing a jail next to it, which would make a lot of sense. I'm just looking around for any hidden doors. I am not seeing any uh, of any kind. All right. I got a guy over there on an island. That looks interesting. Have to be find a way to get over there and talk to him. All right, so I think we've seen all the buildings. Um, yeah, I don't see any of the buildings here, so maybe it's time to talk to people. So let's talk to this guard. I am a guard, okay. Uh, what's your name? I am a guard, okay. That's all you are. What are you, guard? All right, you have nothing to say. Let's talk to this one. I am a guard. He's a big guard, okay. He can't tell us what he's guarding. His name is I am a guard. His job is to preserve the peace and ensure justice. Okay, makes sense. Peace, a good life inspired by love and guided by truth. That's a that's a great definition. Art thou always just? Well, you know, sure I am. Who, you know, oh, unlikely. Oh, jeez. I've been dissed. I've been dissed by a guard without a name. I'm so sad. I'm so sad. I might cry. That's funny, though. That is funny, though. Okay, well, thank you, good sir, for your critique. Um, let's ask, what do you have to say about justice? Justice means not only to punish the bad, but also to reward the good. Okay, that's fair. I, I will accept that as a definition. Let's move on and see some uh, other people. How about these guys that are hanging out the dry goods? A sleek ranger. All right, what is your name? I am a ranger. Okay, we live our jobs here in Britannia. I search for a home. Oh, interesting. What kind of home? On the range. 
Oh, on the range, huh? Where the deer and the antelope play. <laughs> Have you ever heard of place? You know, well, seldom is heard. So I'm going to say no. Okay. Oh, uh, what'd you have to ruin it for? Uh, that's funny. This is the thing I, I remember about this game is some of the dialogue is, is like this, uh, is humorous that I, and I enjoy it. And that's what I remember the most about this was, was, was this kind of dialogue that certain of these people in the towns would have. And so you got to talk to everybody to find these little nuggets of fun. So let's talk to this other guy, also a sleek ranger. Okay, so I'm guessing we're going to have the same dialogue tree. Yeah, I'm a ranger. Search for a home. Yep, yep, yep. All right, so let's go through it, and maybe I'll answer the other way uh, this time. Dear Neanderthal, play. Have you heard of place? I will say yes, I have, because I've heard the song. Seldom is heard, a discouraging word. Oh, I had the lyric wrong. Okay, excellent. That's fun. I enjoy that. I enjoy that a lot. I enjoy that a lot. Probably more than I should, in all honesty. Uh, I can't tell something about word. Okay. You're just there for entertainment value. And I appreciate that sleek Rangers. I appreciate that. Okay. So here we have a Druid. Let's talk to this Druid. Um, a wandering Druid that says I am Druid. I'm having Groot flashbacks here, even though I kind of did that like I was German or something. Okay. What is your name? Dear lady. I suppose I should ask first. What is your name? I am Druid. <laughs> job i see justice if you said i drew it again i was really going to have guardians of the galaxy flashbacks but it's it's you know this game was was created quite a bit before that so it's a bit early for for uh throwback uh, references there but she seeks justice all right so what can you tell me about justice learn at the shrine okay there is a shrine but she can't tell me anything about it that's weird Okay, so we know there's a shrine. I don't know if it's in you. Maybe we'll find it someplace here. There's still lots to explore. Um, all right, learn. All right, you can't help me with that. All right, thank you for that little tidbit of information, at least confirming the shrine. Um, let's talk to this druid that's here at the riverbank or whatever it is. I am druid. Name, job, seek justice. So this is the same dialogue that we saw before. Learn at the shrine. Okay, yeah. So we got to find the shrine. We meet a withered form. What is your name? I am Frida. Okay, Frida, what, what is it you do here? See my poor baby, I begged for him. Oh, that is sad. We got to give her some gold for her poor baby. I mean, how can we not? We don't want the baby to go hungry. And, and you know, so let's, we have enough. Let's, let's you know, help with our compassion. So let's not do 10 this time. Let's do a little bit more. Maybe, maybe 15. How would that be? Thank thee. I shall never forget that kindness. But, you know, you guys always do. You always do. I, I, I give you stuff and then I ask you about my kindness. And they go, what, what, what kindness? It's been two seconds and I'm already, like, gone. Uh, these guys here, yeah, they're catatonic. They can't, they can't say anything. They're, 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 they're sacked up. Okay, so let's go up to the Hall of Justice and look around. We got these two guys that dress the same. Uh, I am Pinrod, he says. Okay, he's a thin man. What is your job here? I take counsel. Kind of an interesting way to phrase that. What kind of counsel do you take on justice? Okay, are these lawyers? Fight ye for justice? Yes, I do. And the American way. Good. The druids chant the mantra. Okay. What else can you tell me about the mantra? That I cannot help thee with. Chant? That I cannot help thee with. Druids? Okay. The druids chant the mantra. We'll have to remember that. And we should find a druid to ask, I guess. Hmm. Very, very unusual. That's a, you know, especially since we've talked to the druids and they don't seem to be chanting the mantra. So we'll have to find, uh, do we have to find a specific set that are? All right, let's talk to this other guy. Uh, I meet a thin man whose name is Pinrod. Are they both Pinrod? Yeah, they're both Pinrod, which is strange. I mean, there's all these, there's all these twins that are named the same. It's kind of weird. Uh, let's talk to this gentleman here. He's, uh, might be like a judge or something since this is the hall of justice. He seems to be like maybe on the bench. 
uh, as opposed to being a king. He's also a druid. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, so let's talk to him. Uh, wise judge. Okay, I got that right. He says, I am Talford. What is it you do here? I decide justice. Okay, makes sense. What can you tell me about justice? Justice is truth in action. All right, what about truth? Okay, you can't help me with that. What about action? You can't help me with that. What about the shrine? Nope. Wow, okay, Talford, you've been singularly unhelpful. Let's look around here. The door to the jail is not locked. So maybe we'll go in here and look around a little bit. Yeah, it is the jail, as I expected. So we've got two cells with people in them and a couple guards here. Let's let's look in the first cell. Stop talking to the door and open it. All right, I am a poor beggar, the first guy says. What is your name, poor beggar? Okay, job, he has sinned. What can you tell me about your how you've sinned? Nothing, doesn't want to talk about it, doesn't want to talk about being in jail. Can't tell me about his sin. Okay, what about this guy? Same thing, yeah, poor beggar. Name, job, okay, yeah. I'm not gonna bother giving these guys any gold because they're in jail, so they're getting like three squares and stuff, so they're they're in good shape there. Uh, let's, um, let's talk to this guy here. I meet a mean, nasty, ugly villain. Okay, all right, nice to meet you, mean, ass, nasty, ugly villain, wow. What is it you do here? And they attack me. Verpal says, on guard, fool. Oh, dear me. Am I going to get in trouble for this with the guards for fighting this guy? I don't know. And then we're not, we're not really at good health here. But uh, all right, let's, let's try this. So, oh, well, one dagger and he's critical. So that's pretty good. Um, I don't want to throw another dagger at him. I don't necessarily want to kill this guy. So I'm just going to let Iolo hit him with the sling a little bit, and maybe um, maybe we can, you know, dissuade him from trying to kill us. And there he goes. He's fleeing. It's interesting that he calls him a merchant. So he's fleeing. I'm happy with that result. Hopefully this way I avoid getting in trouble. Oh, he left us some gold. So we'll grab that. Open an Iolo. Oh, acid trap. Hurt him a little bit more, but not too bad. And we got 83 gold out of it, which isn't bad. So, okay, I guess there's nothing else to see there. I, I find it interesting that, that you know, he, he fought us and, and he fled the scene of battle and that somehow allowed him to escape because he's not in the jail cell. Um, he managed to, to escape in all the hubbub and get out. But nobody seems to be mad at us. So that's a good thing. <laughs> so long as they're not mad at us, that's all I care about. Um so, yeah, so that's all the buildings and, and the people that are kind of in the main thoroughfare of you there. And uh, we are over the 30 minute mark. So I'm thinking this is about where I am going to end it. So I do hope that you will come back next time and uh, we will continue our exploration of you and we will go into these trees and see what there is and the uh, outlying uh, areas and do a bit more exploring. So I do hope you come back and I'll see you then. And until then, be seeing you.